Hey guys, BD here. Just a small announcement before we start the video. We finally reached 100 subscribers, and I know compared to other YouTube channels, that may not seem like a lot, but to us, you guys are really special, and we value each and every one of you. So, yeah, thank you for subscribing. So, for this video and the next few videos, we'll be going over a few basic skirt patterns. Um, today's video will be on the basic straight skirt pattern. I'll be going over a few equipment and materials that we need, as well as a few measurements, and then we'll get straight on to it. So for the equipment and materials, we'll need a roll of paper, a ruler, a pair of scissors, a pen, and a measuring tape. Okay guys, so first we have a few measurements we need to take before we start pattern making. The first measurement we need will be our waist width measurement. Around the smallest width of your body. Divide that by 4 and add 3.5 centimeters. Next is our hip width measurement. So around wherever you can feel your hip bones. Divide that number by 4 and add 3.5 centimeters. Third will be our low hip width measurement. That will be around the largest section of your bottom. Again divide by 4 and add 3.5 centimeters. Next will be your waist to hip length. So from wherever you consider is your waist to your hip bone. And we'll leave that number as is. Then it's the hip to low hip measurement. So from your hip bone to around the area where the largest section of your bottom is. And we'll leave that number as is. Lastly will be waist or hip to desired length. Starting either from waist or hip depending where you want the skirt to sit. We'll call that the full length and add 3.5 centimeters. Okay guys, so first we'll lay out the paper roll and measure across enough to fit in our low hip width measurement and maybe a centimetre more. And then we're going to fold over the paper. Now we're just going to cut along this edge and put the paper roll aside. Now I'm going to measure out the full length measurement from the top. Mark it and do the same further down the folded paper and draw a line across connecting the lines and cut along the line. Next, at the top, measure and mark across either the waist or hip width. I am going to be using my hip width. Now I'll measure down and mark the hip to low hip measurement. Now we'll measure across from that point the low hip width and mark it down. I'm now going to draw a line from the hip width to the low hip width measurement. And at the bottom I'm going to measure and mark across the low hip width measurement. I'll repeat that process a few times along the length and connect the dots. Now we cut along the line. I'm going to label this as the straight skirt front. Now for the back. Fold the roll of paper as we did for the front, except this time add an extra 3 centimeters. Line up the patterns fold to fold. I'm going to be drawing a few marks along the bottom edge of the front pattern onto the back. And now I'm going to be joining the dots. Now we cut along here and here. We now measure and mark 3 centimeters from the fold along the length, that's for the zip if you decide to add one. Connect the dots. Measuring and marking, hip width, hip to low hip length, 
low hip width, connect the dots, measure and mark the low hip width along the length, connect the dots again, and cut. Now we cut along the fold to get two separate pattern pieces. And don't forget, before cutting out the pattern on the fabric, to add 1.25cm for seam allowance. And label this as a straight skirt back. On the front pattern piece, I'm going to label on fold And next to that, note, grain line will be along it. As for the back, the grain line is along the cut edge. Now for the waistband. It's your choice on waistband size. I'm going for around 5 centimeters, and I'll be multiplying that by 2 and adding 1 centimeter to it. And make a rectangle by measuring and marking across the hip width measurement. And cut along the lines. Now we're going to open up the folded paper and fold it up and across again. On the open edge of the fold, cut a little notch. Next, cut a notch on the opposite end but where the fold is. This indicates the center of the waistband and where the waistband folds. Label that as the front waistband. Now we're repeating the same process to the back, but by adding 3 centimeters for the zip. Drawing the rectangle. Cutting it out. Now fold the rectangle in the same way we did for the front waistband. We'll be cutting the rectangle along the fold as it's for the back, labelling it as the back waistband, and notching it, on the front waistband I'll label the fold. Now quickly back to the skirt pattern pieces, I'm going to notch the top front centre. This is going to help align the waistband to the front. Now aligning front and back patterns to each other, I'm going to add two notches on the side and one on this just to help get my bearings while sewing. And lastly, line up the two back pieces and make three small notches along the length to help align the pattern pieces together. Okay guys, so now I'm going to show you how to make the pattern so the skirt sits on the waist. It's very similar to how we draw up the pattern for a skirt that sits on the hip. We'll measure and mark full length. Now up on the top here, we'll measure and mark across our waist width. Now we measure and mark down our waist to hip length. And as I did earlier, measure and mark across your hip width. Measure and mark down hip to low hip. Measure and mark across your low hip width. Now I'm going to go down here and draw a line. And I'll be measuring and marking the low hip width again. And I'll be doing that a few times along the length of the pattern. And then join the dots. Now we'll cut along the lines. I'm going to label it straight skirt, front, 
from waist. As for the back, you'll have the 3cm zip allowance and the rest is as we did earlier, drawing the front pattern onto the back, the fold lined up to the new edge made after adding zip allowance. Now for the waistband, the process is the same as before, but instead of the hip width measurement, we're going to be using the waist width measurement. So we'll measure down the width of the waistband multiplied by 2 and add 1cm. Measure across your waist width. And close off the rectangle. And cut it out. Now we open up the pattern and fold it over lengthwise and fold it over across again. I'm going to label it as the front waistband and label the fold. I'm going to be notching the corners like so. Again, this is so we know where the fabric is to be folded and where the centre of the waistband is to help aligning it to the skirt. And we'll repeat the process for the back waistband, adding zip allowance. And that's how you create a basic straight skirt pattern. Look out for our next tutorial, creating a basic A-line skirt pattern. We hope this tutorial helped. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.